is up guys? Welcome back this week and today we're gonna show you guys a little bit more projects that we have going on, kind of our week review. And um, we'll actually show a couple different things. And if you guys don't know, we also do commercial vehicles as well as UTV stuff. Show you guys some projects here. So by now you guys have seen the KOH video. So thank you guys for watching that. We have some other trips here coming up pretty soon that pretty exciting that we'll keep you guys informed and keep you in tune on. Um, but we're gonna show you guys here a couple cool things. Um, one, this car that we're finishing up for Tens Retire. So this car, we'll go in a little bit more depth on it, um, take it to the back here and then show you guys exactly what we did to it. But I mean, we have like inner fenders here, some add-on pieces, same thing and it does has our graphics kit. A Couple different options that we uh, went with for this car. And then we'll show you guys, like I said, in the back. Another project we have going on, we do uh, some tow truck stuff here. That's what this truck is, doesn't have a bed on it. So some logos going on there, some striping and that kind of thing for AAA. Uh, kind of cool, just change it up, makes it pretty versatile and it isn't always the same thing. So that's what's kind of cool, it keeps everything new and exciting. So another project we have here for Big O Tires. Uh, we'll go in more depth on this car as well. Um, pretty much has the whole side graphic here and then goes into the back. Uh, there's something in the back that we have to add for the back window. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll do a walk around of that car in the back as well and show you guys the final kind of coverage of that car. So other project we have here, standard Pro XP. Um, but if you guys go to Glamis a lot, you guys go to Havasu, um, you've seen a gray helicopter fly around, has some logos on it and stuff. So that's our friends over at Optic Helicopters and that's what this car is. So we'll show you guys the process of wrapping that car, show you guys the finished product of that car. So if you haven't seen the helicopter, uh, we'll throw a little clip here. So that's uh, Optic Helicopters. That's this car, finish that up. So this car, last, not this last video, but the video before, the KOH video, we did a in-house kind of walk through and this car was taken apart. So we had the bumpers off and mirrors off and door handles off. So we're waiting, this car's finished now, so we're waiting for a customer to come pick this up. But this is kind of more of a finished product, of what it looks like. So if you guys remember, it was all black. So back bumpers, everything was black. Um, but now you can see it has some carbon fiber insert stuff, all pearl white, uh, all the way up to the front. So we'll do a walk around of this car as well. But um, you guys got to see the before, everything taken apart, and now you get to see the finished product. So. Some other cool stuff going on that we can't show you guys, but uh, as far as shop stuff, this is what we got going on today, and we'll walk you through some of the vehicles in the back of the shop here. Do a walk around, show you guys why and what we did. So stay tuned for that. Let's roll some B-roll. here in the back we're gonna just show you guys a little walk around of the Range Rover and the project that we completed with this we showed you guys a little bit in those previous videos taking apart the bumpers up here so on these there's a bunch of clips not really the most easy to take apart but that's what we do as far as this assembly to get up in this kind of stuff so the detail up here up in the headlights and the trim and stuff like that and obviously behind the handles because if we didn't take any of that stuff apart you know, this, all these areas would be cut. You'd see the existing color coming underneath it. Yeah, so a little bit different project uh, because we added a lot of carbon fiber down here, like you can see. So giving a little bit cool detail. So from a distance, it looks like it's black, but it's actually carbon. And so same thing with the handles uh, up here to the mirrors as well. So the Range Rover has a kind of distinct look with it being, you know, half black, half whatever existing color. So we actually brought some of the new color up here, up on top to give it a little bit different look too. So that's pretty much completing this color change on the Range Rover. So we're on 
to the next project. We just finished up this one. Um, showed you a little bit here in the shop uh, for Big O Tires. So this vehicle came to the shop, it was white. Uh, they wanted to put some branding and stuff on there, something kind of simple on the sides. Um, so we did that, something simple here on the side that ties into the back area. There's some simple logos, has a branding on there, and we actually did uh, the back window up here is in the window perf. So if you guys aren't familiar with window perf, what that is is see-through kind of film has little holes in there. And what that does is similar to what you've seen on uh, buses and big rigs and that kind of thing, you can see out, but when you look at it, it looks like a graphic. So continues the flow, we do that a lot for trailers and stuff. If there's graphics that go along the side, tie into the windows so it doesn't look like it starts and stops. So that's something that we typically do there. And then we finish it off with just a uh, simple logo up front. So pretty simple. Shows you guys a little bit of variety too of what we can do because a lot of questions that we get are, hey, we want to put our logo on. We don't really know what to do. And, but at the same time, we can't really, we don't have the budget for a full wrap. So what can we do? So this is another option to show you guys um, kind of a three quarter wrap we'll half with a stripe so just depending on your guys' logos that you guys want to put on for company vehicles or jeeps or whatever it is uh, we can kind of help make that reality come true and at the same time which is nice is on the wrap side of things is we can show you exactly what it's going to look like before we even put production and put any graphics in production it's not like you're committed like a paint job so um, that's the beauty of this stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, with our facility, we can print out graphics, cut out graphics. And this is a good combination of both because it has some cut graphics here that that's on the hood, leaving the paint. And then side graphic that's all wrapped, of course. And this is all included into the production, into the print. And then look at this back here is a good example too. Uh, we have a little combination of the print and cut utilizing the existing white coming through so keeps costs down still does the part still looks good and uh, at the end of the day get your logo and branding on it so that's uh vehicle number two for the week so we finished up the last few projects for the week uh, one being this Canon X3 we showed you guys in the beginning. So we'll do a walk around with this car and then as well as this Pro XP graphic that we did for uh, optic helicopters. So talking about the X3, we get a lot of requests for X3s. X3s are popular just like Polaris Razors as well. Um, what it covers and um, what it kind of looks like in a finished product because there's different things out there. Uh, as far as graphic kits and people are wrapping them and stuff. So let's jump into it and uh, show you guys the coverage. So starting off on the hood here, if you look, everything's pretty much covered. So and this is a kit as well. Uh, everything here on these pieces, a uh, rough plastic piece, uh, as well as this painted piece that comes in different colors. So uh, it's hard to tell, but all this black is actually wrapped as well. So this is normally rough plastic on a stock X3. And uh, so we cover all this stuff here, comes down. So normally this is an option here as far as it extending down in. Normally our graphics kit actually stops right to this point, but <clears throat> we do get requests uh, for an extension in here. So that's an option that we can provide for you guys that gets all custom cut in here to continue the graphics. Uh, so this car in particular actually has more coverage and has a couple more options. So uh, moving on to the side here, this is kind of a standard area. We call this section the rocker panels. So that's a one piece here, one other piece there. Um, moving back to the back of the car, we covered this, as well as that back fender piece. That's our pretty much standard kit as far as the side's concerned, except for the upper part of the fenders and inner fenders um, into the door. So depending on which door type you have, uh, we have options for you. So we have stock doors, um, oversized doors, like these car doors here are aftermarket set of doors. So we consider these oversized doors. So we trim to fit is the reason we call them the oversized. So another option that we can provide for you guys, some of you guys have windshields. So we have a graphic on this car that actually goes up from the hood all the way up to the windshield onto the roof and continues up on top. So that's an option to 
as far as it being windshield, windshield up here, going to the roof, um, something else that we can provide if you guys want. So another option, we've actually done this for years and it came from a net industry that we started doing and we do the inside doors. So depending on what door type you have, these are relatively smooth door so we can take care of the doors in here and have it all matched. So this guy actually wanted logos in there. So that's something that we can do for you guys inside the doors. So if they're a rough set of doors or doors with a bunch of angles, unfortunately, we don't take care of that kind of stuff. But if they're smooth panel door, something like this, we can take care of that and have a graphic that goes inside the doors for you. So moving on to a Pro XP, another popular car uh, that we get a lot of requests for on what it covers and can we do them. So answer is yes, of course, we can take care of those for you as well as our shop cars or Pro XPs. But um, let's do a walk around here on what it covers and uh, what we did for this specific car. So for this car actually features our graphics kit that has the, the rock panels, doors, fenders, pretty much the works. Um, so these doors here are Desert Works doors that we have an oversized graphic that's all trimmed to, to fit, as well as the rock panels going up to the back fender. And then this graphic, this color here is actually all wrapped. So the body itself on this car was actually gold. So we try to eliminate as much as possible with the gold. So that goes to show you how much it actually covers um, as far as area and existing body color. We don't want to tell everyone if it's 100% coverage, but if installed correctly, it covers about 95%. So there's little areas uh, that we had to just put some filler in, but for the most part, everything's actually, you know, covered. So the whole hood is covered itself and uh, you can't see any of that existing gold color. So this up here is all wrapped. Usually that's that stock rough plastic area. So we wrap that all to match down the rocker panels up to the back and then we actually put a logo off here on the roof. So as we mentioned before, this customer's uh, optic helicopter. So if you guys see gray helicopter or some logos in Glamis or have a suit, that kind of thing, that's who this guy is. And uh, you'll see this car out there. So what's left to do this thing, they gotta put suspension stuff on that, which you know we don't take care of here, but if you guys see in Glamis, it'll be all done. Uh, that's kind of finishing up the week's projects uh, with these two vehicles, as long as the other cars that we showed you guys. So thank you guys again for watching. Um, the next video, we have some other cool stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. I guess that's a wrap on uh, this week's video. So we see you guys on the next one. Peace.